you have no right. This, this is a con continuish, con <coughs> continuation of um, of my uh, the joy of life, joy voice. Your research, <coughs> the whole world is your research palette. Is this? You have no right. Um, it's a cruel uh, and inhuman and self-deprecating sabotage system to be bored. You have no right. And if you're ever bored, you're an idiot. If you're bored, sorry. <laughs> Who is this guy? If you're bored, you're an asshole. <laughs> to yourself. Because how the fuck can you be bored? There are seven billion people on the planet, all with their own personal narrative, their own story. Just sitting around talking to people, that's why I'm late, because I was sitting at lunch, fascinated by this person who was sort of interviewing me. Um, uh, it's, yeah, I made them talk, and then... Then they, they like me, because they're talking about themselves. <laughs> you are, uh, uh, that's the key to all interviews. Uh, but how can you be bored? There's a library. There's also this thing called the internet. I mean, there are a thousand TED Talks every year for the last ten years. You are never going to get through them. Uh, how many books are piling up on your, on your pile of books I must read before the end of the year pile, which just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And you keep taking from the top, too, so that one the bottom is five. <laughs> you know? How many, how many short stories are living inside of you that you, you get to write? How, how, how much do you need to be logging in your personal log books? We'll talk, I should talk about that in a second, too. Um, how many screenplays have you not read? How many movies oh have you not seen? May I say that Vancouver is the least educated city I've ever seen of actors. When we start talking about movies, I'm like blank stares. I'm like, Midnight, who's not seen Midnight Cowboy? Do not put your fucking hand up. If you're not seen Midnight Cowboy, you're not an actor. You're not. But I like to act. <laughs> but you're an educated actor. May I just say from a business point of view, you're working with directors. Directors. What do they like? <laughs> movies! They all want to be fucking Frank Capra. So your your job, Frank Capra. So you're David Lean. <laughs> Who's not seen Lawrence of Arabia? Do not <laughs> put your hand up. <laughs> uh, there are uh, there are great films. You are. I'm going to quote, borrow from Michael Mankin, who borrowed from those before him, which is ironic because what I'm about to say is borrow. Is you don't need to be out there alone in the desert discovering it for the first time. Film acting's been going on for uh, over a hundred years. Filmmakers have been making films for over a hundred years, but, but uh, it's all been thought out. Like, stand on the shoulders of everyone beneath you. But fucking do it. Like, it's insane not to, not to know the work of Clark Gable. Klaus Kinski. Who? Klaus Kinski. Klaus Kinski. <laughs> Who am I thinking about? <laughs> Who was I just thinking about? Clark Kinski. Oh. Yeah, but, you know. I mean, and this whole, like, you know, no, acting didn't exist before Broad, no. Like, oh, fuck off, Brad. There, was, there were, like, a, some amazing acting going, Gary Cooper is a yes. genius fucking actor, and nothing he does is a lie. It's intense. It's so fucking interesting. You know, uh, you know, there's been some great, great, great work. Gregory Peck. Gregory Peck. Even, even, so like, even, like, even I saw some Buster Keaton stuff. Right? Buster oh. Keaton. Buster Keaton's one of the great method actors of all time. He just didn't know it. He didn't call it that. He was just doing his job. I mean.